Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. It's been a while since we uh, did another episode and in today's episode we're going to be going back to the Queen's Blade series. Uh, one of my favourite animes. Um, but we're going back to the Revoltech uh, series now. As you can probably see I'm next to the display uh, where I keep all my Revoltech uh, Queen's Blade figures. As you can probably see if I just uh, bring the camera down here. As you can see I have my Queen's Blade figures here set up. And also on top of there there's the new uh, Queen's Blade limited edition Branwen uh, figure. Now she's from Queen's Blade Rebellion. Uh, I'll get to that in the another part of this episode, but let's begin the episode. So as you can probably see, she does come with a book. So that's pretty awesome. Also I'll show the back here just before we begin. There you go. So let's begin today's episode. Queen's Blade, Rebel Tech, Brown Win. Cute anime, cute anime, open up your heart and tell me you love me. We will be together again with you. Just look into your dreams, there you'll find me. Cute anime, cute anime. Hello everyone, welcome to Cute Anime Figure Show. I'm your host, Craig. And in today's episode, uh, like I said before, um, before we went to the intro there, um, today we're going to be looking at Queen's Blade. Um, I have already looked at many, many Rebel Techs, um, also some limited edition ones, which brings to today's episode. Um, it's been a while since I actually did a Rebel Tech um, review. So, with no further ado, I'm actually going to be taking a look at Queen's Blade Rebellion Rebel Tech Branwen. Now, Branwen actually comes with another uh, book, another artwork book, and this is the second artwork book to do with the Vanquished Queens uh, series so as you can see it has a number two on there really cool and also if I bring around here see that's brand one there but I'll show you the back here as you can see here here's brand one so this is the latest uh, Rebel Tech Queens Blade uh, figure um, she kind of came out last uh, last year, at the end of last year, 2012, I believe. Um, so yeah, let's actually go ahead and jump into today's video review and actually have a look at the artwork book and also Branwen herself as well. And also we'll put her on display and have a look at her on display with the rest of the Queen's Ballet uh, girls. On the Rebel Tech series. Uh, there is another one. The first one was Aldra, uh, then the second one is Anilote, and then the third one is Branwen for the limited uh, um, edition. These are limited run uh, figures, so can be quite hard to get a hold of. But um, yeah, let's actually jump into the video review and actually take a look at uh, Branwen. 
and also this Anquish Queen's 2 um, artwork book. Let's take a look at Brand New from Revoltech Voltec, uh, Queen's Blade. Let's have a look. So here we are with Queen's Blade, Revoltech, uh, Vanquished Queens 2. Um, as you can probably tell, this is the limited edition uh, Branwen uh, figure. There's a limited run of these. Um, this is the latest uh, Revoltech figure that has just been released. Um, so as you can probably see, it has the artwork book on the front here. Just like um, an Alote from Queen's Blade Rebellion. This is also from Queen's Blade Rebellion. On front of the case there, you can probably see Sugui and Branwen on the front there. So, on the side, as you can probably see, it says Revoltech Limited Edition Branwen on the side. Really cool. And on the back of the packaging, as you can probably see, it shows off different um, photos of Branwen in different poses. So let's actually go ahead and open it up and uh, take a look at Branwen. So first off, it's in this nice sealed um, box. So I'm just going to actually cut this. To, uh, in here so I can actually get into this. Yes, yeah, so um can I take all this thing off here, going on. There we go, all this uh, tape and stuff. Now I'm going to put that over there somewhere. And also if I just uh, remove the book here and uh, set that to the side. So, what We'll have a look at uh, the book first. So here's the book. Get a good look at it. Close up. It says Vanquished Queens 2. And as you can see, I've already explained. There's a nice picture of Branwen and then Sugui there. I'll have a look at the back there. Wow, really lovely artwork as well on the back. I'll actually show you what's in this artwork book first off. Hope everybody can see. It kind of opens up really weird. Um, whoop, nearly. Also there's an indent here showing the one that you get with Analote which if I just put the book down for a few minutes. This is the one I you get with the um, Analote Real tech figure, really cool. Really love that artwork. So I'll show you what's actually in this artwork book first before we continue on with the figure. So as you can probably tell, um, looks really good. Got the same cover as it does on the front. As you can actually see. Um, looks like it's got some really cool artwork here, really nice. And here's a nice, uh, lovely photo of Analote, really nice. So, I hope we didn't skip a page. No, nope, we haven't. Okay, here's Nemril and uh, is that Marion from the um, video game? No, 
no I didn't it's an old character um, Lelania Nenril so as you can probably tell some really nice artwork going on Luna Luna's in here which is strange um, she's got a very nice uh, unusual outfit as you can probably see, really beautiful artwork. Um, actually, let's see what else is in here. Hope I'm not skipping pages. A um, couple of other characters in here. Really nice. Just going to skip through a few of these. Uh, Marim, and yes, it says Marim on there. It says Hyper Vibration Valkyrie. I really do hope that she becomes available in this Real Thick series. So that would be really nice to get a figure of her. Also, let's have a look at the in here. Kidna and uh, some of a girl. Names are actually in this book. Um, another one of Miriam. She's actually in a um, blue outfit. So, yeah, the Artwork book is fantastic. Um, here's a photo of Captain Liliana, great pirate. Really love to see a revel tech of her. So, if this review is quite long, Izumi, um, excuse me. Can probably see, really nice. Just really love the artwork in this book. It's really nice. Okay, there's um, Branwen, and uh, by the way, you don't get this guy, apparently. So, let's move over to the next page. I see uh, Ritz is in here, which is good. Lovely artwork there, and uh, it's like it's a couple of monkeys with her. Echidna's in this book as well, um, which is nice. Just really do love the artwork in here. Okay, who else is in here? She's Zukia, uh, Rogue Ninja, she's in here. What else is in this page? Um, Melpa, Princess of Ganos. I'm actually reading the names out in the book, by the way. Uh, and there's Noah, Forest Keeper. She's in here and uh, she looks like she's tied up. Um, stuff, so. Quite a lot of good stuff going on here. Uh, Nerix, Master of Flame, which we've already looked at an android of her. Um, I hope they do make. Nerex in the Rebel Tech series, that'll be nice. And here is Claudetta, Lord of the Thunder Cloud. And she's with uh, Melona. Some kind of. It's really cool. I really love these photos here of the girls from Queensway. And it's on the back here. Um, Whoa! It's 
Strange uh, photo there. Uh, Catatelia, weapon of merchant. Yeah, weapon merchant. And that's end of that. And here's a character description of all the others that you've seen in this artwork book. Fantastic artwork, by the way. And then also on here, I can just show off this. Nice illustration of um, Sigoy and Ranwin from the uh, into the book there. And then it's red. There. Just gonna. Right there. So that's the artwork book. Um, fantastic, by the way. Just fantastic. Now I'm just gonna slip this to the side. And uh, this in the back here somewhere. Actually, I'll put it where the other one is. Now let's move over to the uh, actual figure. Um, so as you can see, here's the box, and it's just held in by um, tape. See, let's actually see here um, how we actually do this. Um, Take my time here to unravel this. There we go. That's that. Um, right, let's actually open this up here and find out what we actually got. And actually get this tab open. Wow. This is amazing. Um, I don't know if you can actually see this. Um, here's the figure. Let's get a close up shot of this. Um, real light up there. Wow, this is amazing. Nice. Even. Okay, let's um, actually get it out of there. Um, so, like I explained before, sadly you don't get that um, that guy that kind of electrocutes her. Um, I, I don't actually know his name, but uh, he's also a part of Queen's Blade Rebellion. i uh, just slip this off the side here. So it's really interesting um, to see what was in, you know, with the book and everything, and some very interesting artwork. Um, here's the figure, as you can see, in the plastic tray and everything. So, yeah. Very, um, very small indeed. Uh, Let's actually open this up here. No, I'm gonna have to use the scissors here. I don't want to be too lazy, but oh well, I'll use the scissors here. So get everything out. Now I'll swap out the hand and stuff. Nice back. Down on the floor there. So here's the tray. Like I said before, here's the tray, and here's what you get. Um, get a rebel tech stand and base, and one, two, three, four, four hands. 
five, six, yeah, four hands there, included the other two, and one, two, three, four facial facial expressions. So that's that part. So this opens up here. This tray. Actually, see. Oops. And these hands want to actually disappear. Nearly. Nearly lost that hand then. Yeah. There's the stand, the uh, oil tech container. As usual, um, it's pretty standard, the Riveltic figures. I may not use all of these hands, um, so I think this is actually, uh, I don't see any one else reviewing this. So anyway, I'll put that on the floor here. Um, I hope the lighting's okay for you guys. Um, put this on the floor here. You can probably hear me dropping things on the floor. Um, I'm just going to build the stand up really quick. Uh, then I'll move on to the figure itself. Here's the Vertiltic joint um, stand. Always check the joints, see if they work. I always do that with my figmas. Hear the clicky clicky sound going on here. And also here's the base. It says number zero uh, sixteen. It says Brunwen. And there, really nice. Okay, let's put this on here. Got to be very careful. Oops, that was actually my shoulder, by the way. Excuse that. There's the stand for the figure. Now here's some of the hands. I'll show them here on my palm. Look how tiny these are. Look how tiny they are. Little tiny hands. Very small indeed. Um, Here's the uh, container, as usual. And let's move over to the figure itself. I'll put the stand back down here. Also, I have this to stand the figure up. Let's hope that some things stay in the tray here, because I know some things can actually jump out of the tray. Things do jump. Yeah, we're not too bad. The video here. What is this? Ooh, this is nice. Um, looks like we've got an extra dress. Um, that is like. Oh wow, this is really nice. Really soft, rubbery. So here's the alternative dress. You can see. Um, teared up and stuff. Yeah. Facial expressions. These are really small. Okay, good look at that. Kind of got a closed eyes and yeah, like embarrassing face. And let's just work out the way, same way as all real things. It's kind of weird. I've seen that before. Yeah. 
So anyway, that's that facial expression. Um, what else is there? There's this one. Trying to get it focused. There you go. That's another facial expression. Kind of got open eyes and really wore it. A word face. Really nice. And I'll show this other one here if I can actually get it out. If it wants to come out. Come on. Come on over I'll show off this one. Kind of like a focus here. Yeah. Angry face. Really cool. What else do we get here? Um, looks like we've got a shield. So here's the shield. You can see. There you go. Look at that beautiful detail in there. Really gorgeous detail in the crack shield there. Also show off this other side here. Really nice. Now, when you're going to be doing this shield, I recommend taking this piece off here. Does it come off? Yes, it does. It does does come off. So. That's that piece. It only pegs in, don't worry about that. Um, what else have we got here? I haven't broken it, it's just that I unpegged it um, to be very careful um, when I'm putting weapons in hands. So here's the sword. Get a good look at that if you will. Come on, focus. Excuse me. There's no mic. There we go. Yeah. Look at the beautiful detail in that sword. Tremendous. Okay, there we go. Real nice. Also, this will uh, remove as well. Yep, I thought it would. This tip will come off, so you can actually put it in the uh, sword part. I have to remember which way that goes. And here's the figure itself. I think I'll do the articulation first. Move all this stuff off her. So go here with all this going on here. To remove the head here. Um, uh, the outfit looks like I have to remove the outfit. I got a stiff there. Oop. That was the thing there. Um, got all of this stuff going on here. Do I have to remove that? Fine. I'll put 
Fuck. No. Fuck in there. Lots of protective plastic. Um, I'll say I've got to remove this outfit. I'll say I have to remove this. Aha! I might not have to. Sometimes you can actually drag that through there without um, removing that. And okay, if we must. So, I'll remove the legs first and stuff. I don't know if that really works. So once you've actually gotten all this off, excuse me for a few minutes while I take all this wrapping off. Good thing that everything's soft and pliable. Now, just to put everything back. In place. Got that over there, and uh, I'll attach your legs in a minute or two. Um, bear with me. By the way, um, this part of body, um, 
it just attaches by a nipple, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Also, these are the hard plastic boobs. And if you see that little notch up there, I don't think you can just say that. That's where the uh, nipple kind of meets. I know, it's kind of funny, kind of weird. I don't mean to be uh, rude at all, but what's going on here with the arm? I don't want to bring this on joint out like that. And that other thing wants to go around there. So I, I'll attach the leg back in the same place again. Just gotta watch out for these old wires stuff going on here. And sound like keep them out of the, the way. Put the other leg on here. So, yeah, you have to totally remove the legs and everything um, for the fear. And stuff, and uh, Obviously, to get that great big chain off, you have to remove the ankle. Um, all different bits of things. And here's the ball there. Yeah, which then goes around. And it just slips on there. Like that. Careful with the joints. So it kind of swings around. Bit of a blur. Um, I'll put a head back on. Actually, I've got to attach this um, chain part here. So I have to attach that on there. That. Just put the head back on, like so. It's really neat how um, how they've done things here. Um, obviously, there's a little tiny real tight joint there. Um, again, it's got no one as little. This is inches. Put that back in there. Wait, right, so. So, to reattach that, just put it on there like so. So it's on a real tight joint. Um, it's not too bad, as you can probably see. It's a nice going on there. There's another joint there in the hair. So, I'll just get a sort of hand on here. Then I'll start equipping her with weapons and stuff. Um, the outfit works out the same way as the other one. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually use that uh, or show that off, actually, to be honest. Depends how long we've got. How long we got? Yeah, we're alright. So here's Branwen, 
As you can probably see, really nice. Got this like this um, rope-looking thing going on here, like uh, with the electric cable. Look at that beautiful detail in there. Um, it would have been nice if they included that little, I don't know what they call him, that trainer or whatever. Obviously, Branwen's background, she is a slave. Um, so I'll go over the articulation right away before we start swapping things around and stuff. Um, there's paper around here. So, as you can see, yeah, she's got the same articulation as every Revel Tech uh, Queen's Blade girl has. As you can see, she's got Revel Tech joints in the top of her head. Beautiful detail on the facial expression there. You can see it's blocked by the hair. We can actually move that up there. Look at that really tiny facial expression. Tiny. So as you can probably see with all this going on here with the hands. Got shoulder joints here. Got the same relative door joint there in the arm. Got the same relative joint there in the hand. Um, got an upper joint there. And by the way, everything's sculpted. Um, I'll show you how to actually switch that outfit off and put the old one on. Um, also, here's the ball and chain. It's on like a little joint here. And it's on like a little thing. It's not a real chain, it's kind of like a plastic chain. Got some beautiful detail in the shoes there. In the ankles, have got these Revel Tech joints. Got this same Revel Tech swivel up here in the thigh. Also, as you can see, she's got a nice tattoo there. And also, there's a gaping hole there. Needs to sort that out. There we go. But, yeah. Really good, I need to really push that up there. Uh, she's got real tech joints in the knees. That's her thigh cut again. There. Beautiful detail. Uh, nothing to see under there, that's, that's not very... You don't want to see that. Um, so she has a... All in the back. If things are not too crowded here, she's got a joint in the back there. For this stand, as you can see. Okay, let's actually switch out that outfit. I'll show this off first, uh, since she hasn't got. Well, since she's not equipped where I think at the moment uh, with the shield so I'm not going to put the shield on it until yet um, I am going to show you the alternative outfit how to put that on um, so is there anything we can do with the other hands Essentially, let's actually go with the uh, well palm of our hands. Let's do something really fun before we start um, using the weapons and stuff like that. Usually, I'll pose them with the battle damage armor, but I kind of like how she looks now with the other. Um, so actually switch out uh, uh, armor you need to remove the hands obviously um, yeah that hand over there um, you need to remove 
You don't need to remove the legs, I don't think. I don't think it'll be required. Um, okay, you need to remove the head again. So that gets in the way. So you need to remove that. There. Um, also, let's, let's actually do remove the legs. Makes it much easier for me to work the outfit. So, I need to remove this. This piece here. Whoops. Can I show enough some boobs here? I'll try and cover them up as much as I can. Um, okay, so, need to remove this piece here. Um, This is taking long, far too long. And by the way, everything is detailed. Um, just gotta be careful with this armor. Just put the oil on. on. All right. Uh, when we come back, um, yeah, I'm gonna put the this piece on here. Uh, it's all right. It's just that. We'll be back in a few minutes. Sorry about that. Um, thought camera gonna cut on me. But anyway, um, now where were? Ah, we were about to put um, the other um, the other dress uh, on. Yeah, the other outfit on the figure. Um, so. To put that on, it's just similar to how you put the regular one on. But apart from that, this is the bowel damage version. So to do that, um, that oh, here we go. These pieces here, they'll go on the figure's arms. But we'll put this piece on here. Um, This, if it will go on like that, right. Ah yes, like that. So we'll get the torso piece. Put that on. Make sure I got everything level. Okay, that goes on there really well. Need that. Over there. these two pieces on here. Um, need to put the legs back where they were. I know sometimes these can actually slide up 
because they actually clip over the uh, over the nipples. Um, I'm not trying to be rude, but uh, that's what did that's what they do. Uh, okay, move that over there. So I can actually get her leg in. It's in really tight. That's that. I think you're out there. Oh, yeah. That's actually going inwards. So that actually goes inwards. Okay. Weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that out. Sorry, trying to get that. So I go in there. Okay. Now um, to replace the hands. In fact, I'll put this um, piece on here. The joint piece. I'll put the head back on. I know this thing kind of swirls around a lot. So, to replace the hands, I think I do is I'll pick one of these hands up. like these flat palm hands on in fact let's have one of these kind of crawling type hands that one goes that way this one goes this way Very tiny these are. Um, oop, this one. Okay, so I've got one on, and I think I'll have another one in the other hand, so I'll replace that. I thought I was going to have a little struggle there, um, I have this other hand on here, which is exactly identical to it.
but it's a really tight fit. Um, as you can probably see, it is kind of like a little tight fit to go in there. Shop. Anyway, so I've got the hands here. Um, I'm now going to put these in. Excuse me. Okay, once we get the hands in, we'll uh, do some posing. Then we'll move on, along on the, um, onto the thing, um, onto the shield and swapping out the faces. Um, uh, get this done here. So, here she is with the Val Damage armor. Go focus. There we go. Here's the Val Damage armor. Really nice. Um, it just works out the same way. Oh, yeah. Just works out the same way as. Um, as the uh, armor, as you can probably see. Let's actually swap out that facial expression and I'll show that off. As you can probably see. Really nice facial expression, so I'll show that off. All you gotta do is just um, actually I'll remove the head first. Um, usually, I can swap out the faces without removing the head. Um, but there we go. So to swap out the head, uh, facial expressions, you need to remove it from the head. And uh, let's see. Let's go with this one, uh, where our eyes closed. Can I replace it there? Uh, by the way, be careful of the uh, joint at the back here for the ponytail. Uh, be really careful. Um, I haven't broken it yet, but take extra care. Um, also we got the thing going on here. Oop. That down. The, uh, this is kind of like loosely. Um, also there you go that things like going on right again. So let's kind of have a like and pull. Let's kind of have a on the floor. 
that. If I pick the camera up here um, and show you this. So, so you guys can get a good look at the figure on this point, as you can see. As you can probably tell, the hands are not really down on the ground. Well, that one has, and that one's kind of floating in midair there. Okay, so let's actually start. Just kind of back on here. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, now, let's actually put the other outfit back on and another facial expression. Um, now, to put the other facial expressions back on, um, I'm going to actually remove the head here. Um, well, I'm going to have to remove the head for the uh, outfit anyway. So, I'll switch out that. Uh, for I actually have another facial expression on here. Let's have this. Let's have this one on here. She kind of has light blue and red eyes. Um, if I can just show you this quickly to the camera. Just see that she kind of has blue and red eyes. Really um, creepy looking. So, yet again, I'm going to. Oh, okay, flips up there. Um, I have to remove the hands again. Same on this other side here. And actually, have to. Uh, in fact, can we actually remove the outfit here? That. Usually I have to remove the legs to do this, but um, I'm not going to. With the regular outfit. That on. Watch everything on the back here. Um, the yeah, point of the outfit on is kind of pain in the butt. Um, I should say, but once you actually get the outfit on, uh, should be no problem at all. Um, so, once you get the outfit on, and then clip everything together. Join there and get everything on there like that. So, we get these very 
paste things on there, like that. And these are on Naturalite string, uh, which is nice. So, where the ah, there it is. I thought I lost it then. Okay, so get that on there. Get the head, the head on. There we go. Hopefully we don't keep don't keep getting a nipple slip. Sometimes. Um, now for the real tech joint. Hopefully I can get away that. All right. Um, putting the other hands back on. So, just gonna have to remove this one and put back with that one. There it is. And that went on just fine. Now, where's the one there? There it is. Hopefully we can switch this out quickly. Don't waste any time at all. Okay. First off, I'm actually going to show you how to put the shield on uh, while Brownwind's just sitting there. So, um, here's the thing for the shield. I'll actually sit down here. So, to actually put the shield piece on, um, I suggest you remove it and actually wedge that in there. I suggest. So you pick that in there. I'm just going to do this off camera really quick. Okay, here we go. So that's that. As you can probably see. Uh, before you want to attach um, over there. Before you uh, attach the hand to the well, the other hand. You want to um, slip the arm onto there. Um, if I can, oh, the gauntlet. Oh, put it there. there we go. So, yeah, touch it like that. Like so. Then you want to no, this kind of looks awkward. Um
equals parts of this the shield I don't know, I'll actually uh, do this off camera for you guys. Um, Alright, so I got the shield on, as you can probably see. Um, yeah, it's a pain in the butt to put on, but uh, once you actually get it on there, um, make sure that peg's actually in there. Alright, moving along to the sword. Um, same thing here with the handle. Um, kind of goes on the hand. I feel like it's like a tight fit when you actually get that in there. So it's kind of like a tight fit. If I can actually get the. Uh... Okay, here we go. There's this odd piece. That actually. Goes on here. Okay, it's looking good. And move the hand up there. Want it too near the sub. But Okay, that's good. So yeah, attach the sword to the um, the hand, to the hand, the same way. Make sure that's in there. Okay, that. Is, is that supposed to go like that? Uh, whatever, with a sword. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway. So, I think I've got to turn that around. That'll be alright. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. So we've got this sh sword and shield on uh, Branwen. Now the trickiest part is is put her on the displaced stand. Let's go ahead and do that. everything out of the way here and I have to move her uh, tail to the side here so. first off I'm gonna have to uh, ah. no. yeah I'm gonna have to remove this piece um, just in case Okay, here we go. I'm just going to actually quickly uh, put this peg in here. Um, Oop, nearly. Just quickly, I'll do this off camera. Feels really tight to actually. You can probably hear me doing this. It feels really tight on getting this stand in here. Oh man, this really hurts my hands. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, it is tightly in. I'm just gonna put this in here. Uh, okay, alright. I'm just gonna So, I'm actually going to put brown wine actually on the stand. I'm going to bring this leg over here. Um, ankle going all over the place here. And there is a peg under the foot. You can actually peg her to the stand. You can have her posed however you want. Can I bring that ponytail down here? Like so to the back there. Yeah, these wire things actually do um get in the way. Um, the, yeah, the, these pieces do tensely do drop in. 
and then I like here have the ball to the side there and you're probably going to have this dangling down alright um, so here's Branwyn there's a close up shot of her um, she's got a shield on and everything Everything's clipped in right, yep. Okay, good look at that. Stuff. I have to zoom in here. And I'll jump into my final thoughts in a few minutes. So as you can probably see, um she is a really cool figure. Um Put a stand in the back, her well in the back. Um, it's kind of a little bit difficult, um, really tight fit. Uh, swapping out the faces is no problem at all. Um, but yeah. So there you go. That's Branwen. Um, I'm gonna jump into my final thoughts right now, and then we'll put her on display um, so I can actually have her a, a sword in midair here can I get an action pose so she's actually got a sword there so right now I'm actually going to jump into my final thoughts for her um, I still got all this stuff in here I have to clean up and that's so right now I'm just going to put this at the back of her so you guys can follow C um, this one at the back here hopefully the book won't fall Alright, um, final thoughts on Queen's Blade, Rebellion, Revoltech, or uh, Revoltech, uh, Branwyn. She's an awesome figure, very beautiful indeed, really well done, detailed. Uh, I love the outfit. I'm just gonna bring this down here for a minute. And I kind of loop that around there. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so yes, this piece does uh, get in the way. Kind of have that going around there. So yeah, Royal Tech Branwyn, really cool figure. Um, now swapping out the shield can be a little bit tricky and can be a little bit of pain in the butt to switch out um, removing the legs is easy changing the outfits easy uh, putting it back on it's gonna be a little bit difficult uh, putting the sword in the hand you have to take the sword tip part off and also put the hand on top of the uh, so it handle, but before you do that, remove the hand. I suggest you do that. And it's the same thing with the shield. Uh, remove the shield um, handle from the shield and stuff like that. And also the facial expressions are quite easy to switch out. Uh, she comes with quite a lot of hands and facial expressions and stuff like that. Um, which we didn't get time to switch out. We only switched that one, which was the closed eyes one. But that's good. Um, overall, do I recommend Rel Revoltec, Queen's Blade, uh, Ranwen? Yes, I do, um, obviously. She's really cool figure, and also she's number 16 in the Queen's Blade series. Um, I'm going to say she is a must-have uh, if you have 
Sugui and some of the other Queen's Blade figures um, and stuff like that, even if you have Analote as well. Uh, definitely recommend picking her up. Uh, she kind of ran me for about uh, 60. Um, yeah, like 59.99, like 60. So uh, I suggest check out your uh, local anime stores online or in store or whatever. Who uh, who might have this Rebel Tech figure? Well, overall, just a great figure. Definitely recommend picking her up. She's definitely worth. Um, well, for me, it's definitely worth the sixty, um, sixty pound uh, for the figure. Um, I definitely really want to get all of the old girls from this show from the series. Um, overall, I definitely recommend her. She's an awesome figure. Um, and I uh, just be very careful with the ponytail and everything else because um, you can probably have an accident with those at some point but for me there's no problem at all switching things out and swapping things around um, but point of stand in can be a little bit tricky because uh, it's quite a tight fit um, because of her outfit it kind of likes to go over the uh, peg hole but overall really great figure love it definitely check her out and here's a display video for brown Wayne, and she's on display with the rest of the queen's blade figures until next time guys thanks for watching arigato sayonara until next time take care guys i'm gonna actually be really quick um so, I've only got a few minutes left. Alright, here's Brownman with all the other Rebel Techs. You can see. Here she is on display. Really cool. Really love her. Uh, definitely recommend checking her out to everybody. And I'll see you very soon. You can see all the other Rebel Techs there. She's definitely a perfect um, scale with everybody else. And until next time, I'll see you very soon. Arigato and sayonara. Take care. Bye, guys.